I'm about to show you in this video how you can take a graphic of a strawberry and turn it into a vector shape of a strawberry using my good friend Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to try right clicking on this image and say copy image. Okay? I'm only doing it so that I can get the likeness of a strawberry in Adobe Illustrator. Back here at Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to paste it. Here's how I do it. Sometimes when you paste things in Adobe Illustrator, they're too big or too small. In this case, it's way too big. Don't try and follow along, just pay attention. It's really big. This is this black square. Can you see it still on the projector? That's, that's the size of my canvas. So whatever I want to make, I got to fit it in that square. So I need to scale this down. I need to transform or make it smaller. So I'm going to click my strawberry. I'm going to say object, transform, and scale. And then I'm going to guess how much smaller I want it. At this size, it's 100%. So I need to make it smaller. I'm going to guess 20%. Let's see what happens. I might be wrong. That's pretty good. That was a good guess. Let's do it wrong. Object, transform, scale. I'm going to try 80%. That's wrong. But I could just keep doing transform again, transform again, until it fits in that box. See? So I don't really have to be right the first time. It's every time it's going to be 80% the size that it was before. Does that make sense? Hey, it fits. OK. What I want to do now is I want to trace the outside of the strawberry. And so here's how I do it. Here's my toolbar in Adobe Illustrator. For a lot of you, this is your first time using Adobe Illustrator. That's cool. I'll point out tools as we need them. Right here, beside the line, is a rectangle tool. If I push and hold on the rectangle tool, you'll see I have different choices. I can do a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, an ellipse, a polygon, a star, blah, blah, blah. The flare tool, for most of what we do, not, not useful for vector creation. I'll show you why later, OK? I'm just going to use the rectangle. You might say, but Mr. Perot, I would say that the ellipse would be closer. How many people thought that in their head? That's cool too. And we'll try that as an experiment later. But I'm going to just use the rectangle. And here is going to be the fill color of my rectangle. Right now, that's selected as white. I don't want a fill color. So I'm going to turn it off. White with a line through it means no fill. This is the outside outline color. In Adobe Illustrator, we call that the stroke color. The stroke, I'm going to make it black. Okay? I don't want to make it white, and I don't want to make it red. Can you guess why? Yeah, I won't be able to see it, because it's white here and it's red there. Okay, so I'll choose black, but you could choose blue or purple. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And it looks exactly like a strawberry. It doesn't at all. Okay. I can move this rectangle around anywhere I want by picking it up with my black arrow. This is another one of my tools in the toolbox, the black arrow. But what I want to do is I'm going to use something called the direct selection tool. I'm going to select the anchor points and move them individually. Check this out. Right now, how many anchor points does my square have? Four, one at each corner. So I choose that. They're hard to see on the projector, but there's one there, one here, one here, and one there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to move each one of these until they're exactly touching some part of my strawberry, but on the outside of the strawberry. Okay? As I mentioned before, I'm going to imagine my strawberry goes, the red part of my strawberry goes up there, and boom. So then I ask myself this question. Does that shape look like a strawberry? No. So I need to add more anchor points. Okay? And I do that like this. Object path. This thing is called a path, this shape. And I say add anchor points. So object, path, add anchor points. And now between every anchor point that existed before, I have another one. And I simply go and I move it until it's on the outside edge of my strawberry. Just like this. Again. And again. And again. And I've moved all the new ones I've created. When I create more, I'm going to have way more. Does that look a bit like a strawberry now? Yeah, but it's not round. It's not round. You are correct. Let me show you something. I could add new anchor points right now, but I could also make them round. I can click this anchor point, and I can go up here. 
This changes the anchor point from creating straight lines in and out of the anchor point to creating a curve through it. Check it out. Click. I can do that to every single point. Sometimes I wait until a little bit later to do this, but it might work. Already, let's check. Click. 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 And click. That looks pretty good. Now, every rounded anchor point has handles. So I could grab one of these handles and I could stretch it like this until it really hugs that line. See what I'm doing there? I don't think we need any other anchor points really, do we? Maybe here? Maybe I can fix this one. There we go. Nailed it. Strawberry shape. Awesome. Pretty good. So I go, if I go over here to my layers and I click layers, I can click this arrow and I can turn off the original picture. And it looks okay. It's a little wonky right here. If I could go and kind of smooth that out a little bit by pulling these handles if I want. Now, but it doesn't actually have to be the exact shape of the strawberry because we're going to get rid of that strawberry in the end. But it looks pretty good, right? Now what I'm going to do is create a separate shape for the leaves, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to turn off this shape, and then I'm going to get another rectangle. I'm going to draw it up here. Now here's where I get to make a decision. You'll notice if I had to take the green leaf of this shape and pick only two colors to represent that shape, which two colors would you choose? Just the leaf. Green. green and? Yellow. Sure. Yellow or green, dark green and light green, something like that. What I might decide to do at this point is I might say, okay, for this shape, I'm going to trace only the light green parts. I'm going to keep this part back here as a separate shape. This little lip at the front is a separate shape. This is a separate shape. And the stem is a separate shape. See what I mean? Some people, I, I can see the light going off in some people's eyes. I can see, see some people going, I don't know what you mean. That's okay if you're in either one of those camps. The way I create the, maybe I'm gonna do the light green part now. I'm gonna stop my video though, because it's about to get boring and repetitive. So I'm gonna stop my video.